Hi, I'm Maisie McMillan, and this is my final presentation on my utopia called Alexandria. The time, place, and setting of Alexandria. Um, the name comes from a city that was found in Egypt, and it's most famous for being taken over by Alexander the Great, and that's where he put his famous library that was destroyed in the Civil War in Egypt. The buildings in my utopia are modeled after the city of Granada, Spain, and I'll have pictures after this. And the buildings there are sort of colonial, but very modern looking and beautiful. They're very sleekly designed, but they have accents that are very similar to Rome and Greece. Big, tall arches, colorful styles, and they have features that are similar to that. Um, they're always brightly colored. Time in my utopia is a lot slower than normal time, so it makes people age less, which makes people younger longer. And there's also different landscapes in my utopia. There's forest, hills and plains, desert, seaside, city, and jungle are all my different landscapes. This is a picture of Egypt up here in the corner is Alexandria right by the delta. And then there's a picture of the city of Granada. Oh, wrong way. Here's some more pictures of the city. As you can see, they're brightly colored. They have big archways and different designs on the buildings here, accents on the windows and on the different levels, and of course the archways that are found on there. This is what the city looks like at night, especially with this modern sort of building put up against a building, as you can see over the here, that seems to have different things on the outside. They go well together without clashing with one another. Entrance to my utopia is gained through the appearance of a magical cupcake, which I have a picture of, that appears during times of hardship. So if you're having a hard time in your life, you're fighting with somebody, it appears and allows you entrance through a portal into the utopia. And you can go in and out of the portal at different times, depending on what's going on with you, how you feel at that time. There's the cupcake. Political system, there are no wars, bombs, or weapons allowed in Alexandria. Weapons cannot make it through the portal. They're not allowed. And of course, since they don't, since it's sort of like almost a state of mind, but kind of, it, it's a real place, but it's sort of like an imaginary place, like Alice in Wonderland would be, there's obviously no threat to them physically of wars or people attacking them. The political system is headed by an official that's elected, just one person sort of like a president would be, and then in between that you have regional officials, so each region like the different landscapes, like there's a jungle official and there's a city official and a desert area official. They communicate with the head official and then within each region there are different neighborhoods and communities and each neighborhood has a leader, sort of like you would have um, one person that can, doesn't control your neighborhood but oversees its well-being. My judicial system, weapons cannot pass through the barrier. So if you're caught manufacturing weapons or trying to hurt people in any way, like murdering someone, um, that's, that's a crime. Sentencing for all crimes, even something simple, is done by jury. And then, of course, you have a trial after the jury finds you guilty or not guilty. Waiting periods are not prolonged. The maximum waiting period in my utopia is two weeks for a trial. I don't think it's fair, the system that we have nowadays, where people will wait years just for somebody to say, you killed him, or you didn't kill him, or you shot her, or whatever they might be guilty of. And then, of course, there's regular and emergency services in my utopia as well, like there's a fire, there's firemen, there's police officers, security guards. The economic system, each region has a specialization. So like in the seaside region, they specialize obviously in things like fish and things that are commonly found in our area by the ocean. And in the jungle, they specialize in lumber since there's a lot of trees and also exotic fruits and meat because hunting and harvesting is allowed in those areas. The businesses then use the goods that come from each region and they use them to trade with each other. So, for example, if coffee was grown in the jungle and the Starbucks in the city needed coffee beans, they would send someone in their trade department to go to the jungle and collect the coffee beans to use 
for that instead of money. Profit that is gained through the goods and the selling of the goods and also the wages is used to pay for taxes, which is used for different things that I'll talk about later. Social infrastructure in Alexandria, there are different races present, which means that different languages are present. I think that it's important for the people of Alexandria to understand each other, be able to communicate and be friends with who they want, have business relations with who they want, which means that language classes are offered. Probably it would be something at the university, like at Cochise, where you can come and take classes, whether it's for your job or for your own personal use, or you are studying your college and you want to learn different languages. Everybody in my utopia must have a job. That's important because if you don't have a job, then you won't understand the hard work that goes into the things you want, the things you need to provide for yourself. By having a job, it'll make it so that people understand their own needs and the needs of the people around them. And how much you get paid is dependent on your educational experience. And minimum wage is $10, which means that if you work at, let's say, like, Starbucks. You'd have, you'd start at a $10 wage. But then if you had special training or classes on different things there, or like if you worked at a bakery and you specialized in something, or you worked at a library, you would get paid more than somebody who does like a minimum wage job, a very simple job that anyone could be trained to do. Money is also only in coins. I was originally just going to have things traded, but then I thought that it wouldn't be fair to the people working because you wouldn't trade your, like you wouldn't work all day like a nine hour day somewhere and then trade it for something like vegetables or any type of food or clothing. That, that wouldn't be fair for the work that you put in because you need those things to survive anyway and you also have to have a job. Money. Role of the individual. The role of the individuals in Alexandria is to sort of take a break from their lives, relax, because that's why you come there in the first place is because you're in a bad situation and you're trying to get out of it. So that's what I want them to do. I want people to enjoy their jobs, enjoy going to school, enjoy being with their neighbors, have relationships with people, start families, you know, study what they want in school. I want everybody to be able to enjoy their lives fully in any manner that you see fit in order to do that. The role of families in Alexandria, adultery is a crime. So, like, if you're married in Alexandria to another Alexandretan and you slept with somebody else or you started another family with somebody else, that would be against the law. That would be a crime, which would obviously be punishable by, you know, jury and trial and jail time. But it would also be considered adultery if you were in, like, in the real world here, and let's say I was to go into Alexandria and start a family and have children with someone like an Alexandredon that is not my husband on earth, that would also be considered adultery and that too is a crime. There are single parents in Alexandria and like government assistance is provided for them, but the parents do have to work and if the children are of age to work, they must also work to provide. It's not just you can do nothing in order to receive everything you need because that's not fair to the other people around you and to the government. And there also is same-sex families. I haven't decided if I wanted people same-sex to be able to marry, but I think that if you wanted to adopt a child or have like a surrogate mother, that would be okay because everybody has the right to have a child in life if they choose to. And like I said, there's family and neighborhood assistance for people that are in need of jobs or a place to work or food on their tables. We don't want anyone to go without. Everybody should have their basic needs. Role of neighborhoods. The basic role of the neighborhoods is to provide happiness and well-being to the inhabitants. So each region has several neighborhoods and then of course each region is like a big neighborhood in the whole entire sort of area of Alexandria. I also think that it's important for the neighbor individual neighborhoods to not only communicate with the head of their particular region, so like two or three neighborhood leaders would get together and meet with the leader of the city the city official and then that official would be able to relay to them to the head of the region, sort of like the president of Alexandria, what was going on with them, if they were having problems or if someone was really struggling.